welcome you in today's video where we will talk about porphyrias okay so in the previous video we saw how heme you know metabolism happens and in that we saw heme synthesis and now we will see the disorders of heme synthesis porphyrias in a very easy manner i have provided mnemonic for each and everything and after this i don't think porphyria will be a problem with you so please remove that fear of porphyria right now and just start you know uh, visualizing the things i am showing you okay so let's start with that before that if you have not subscribed yet kindly consider subscribing share with your friends if you want notes comma q bank you can visit the link in description okay so basically now what are porphyrias okay guys so porphyrias are nothing but they are just a collective group of inborn errors of metabolism okay there are some errors in the metabolism which is reflecting in the form of a disease and that is all due to a pathway which is heme biosynthesis pathway defect okay so i hope you have you know watched heme heme biosynthesis pathway in previous video if not then kindly watch it after this so now there are problem in that particular pathway okay so there are some enzyme deficiency due to which you know if enzyme will be deficient then a particular product will not be synthesized so the precursor will increase in amount okay so all in all what is the disorder leading to increase production excretion of porphyrins you are not getting heme you are getting porphyrins which are basically unwanted products okay and their precursors are also you know increased and that is what we have seen in the previous video that the precursors are ALA and PBG okay now we will see this things in detail and these disorder are autosomal dominant you have to remember only one exception is there which is autosomal recessive i will tell you that now these are three types basically hepatic erythropoietic and then mixed okay so in the pathway which i have already told you heme synthesis pathway whenever there will be early enzyme deficiency early pathway defect this will lead to hepatic porphyria and the symptoms will be neurovisceral symptoms okay we will come to it then if there is erythropoietic porphyria then it will be late pathway de defect and the symptoms will be related to your skin okay and then there can be mixed porphyrias so now let's be more precise what i have already told you okay now we will see things in detail so now this is the pathway guys i have already told you how to remember it okay great sign as porphyria encoded we remembered all this products i hope you are well versed with that so now i have created a mnemonic for disorders and that mnemonic is just like double a triple c okay c is the third letter hai na to double a triple c so you are you know very elated that okay it's this much easy so you will say double a triple c very easy bas itna sa hai okay now first let me tell you the names so the names are although quite long but very easy to remember first one is this okay now what is this we will see later then the second a will be acute intermittent then the first c will be congenital erythropoietic then the second c will be porphyria cutanea this is what important is so c and then this is third c hereditary coproporphyria okay and don't worry don't think that i have shown it anywhere these are all in sequence i will tell you that thing okay then after that your v and e are respectively variegate and erythropoietic so i hope you understood this much now let's start how to you know learn them so basically in your first step there is not much although there is a kind of porphyria associated but right now it is not needed so i will tell you this enzyme ala dehydratase we have already saw that how water was removed okay so ala dehydratase same enzyme deficiency porphyria adp khatam so first a is very easy just remember the pathway give the disease name then what is the thing then basically we have this pathway porphobilinogen to ultimately uroporphyrinogen conversion now i have not shown it here because it is a detailed step of one and second two reactions are occurring here okay so now what you need to remember is if there is defect in this first enzyme pbg deaminase it is acute intermittent that are second a and then if it there deficiency in you know this enzyme then there is our first c congenital erythropoietic okay guys so don't worry just keep the mnemonic and keep the cycle ready with you and if you have not watched heme synthesis video this video is not for you kindly watch that too okay then what we have to do is we have to do nothing then we have completed this pathway also then come to this pathway between this you are having this enzyme deficiency the you know porphyria is pct porphyria cutanea tarda you can remember c okay so this is our second c as i have told you okay then what we have is basically our last step and what is this last step this last step is nothing but 
deficiency in this particular CPG oxidase and this will manifest as hereditary coproporphyria and you can already understand that what will be the product which will increase in this. So this is our you know third C and now we are left with just these two reactions that is variegate porphyria due to PPG oxidase and erythropoietic protoporphyria due to ferrocatalase okay guys so now in books you will see these names only and you will get confused and keep getting confused so don't confuse just remember this remember this and then write them once and you will be easily you know learning the things so now i will tell you more detailed about each type of porphyria so don't worry we are not seeing everything what is relevant i will tell you that so first of all whenever you will approach porphyria if you know nothing you should know at least this much that basically whenever there will be increase in porphyrin precursor ALA or porphobilinogen in that particular pathway which I already told you early enzyme manifestation this will lead to neurovisceral complications okay and whenever there will be later defects like uroporphyrin and coproporphyrin accumulation this will lead to kind of your cutaneous manifestation which are bullous lesions okay now another property is that this protoporphyrin is basically lipophilic in nature so lipophilic means it loves lipids so lipids say it will it will be start loving your cell membrane so it will go in the cell membrane and skin ke jo bhi cells hain wahan pe inflammation karayega okay so there will be inflammatory reactions in skin and then you can see that as hypersensitivity reactions okay so these are general symptoms now you need to dissect each you know kind of porphyria in detail so i have made it very simple for you don't worry just remember at least this acute intermittent and congenital erythropoietic okay these were together so don't uh, no need to mug up the things then you had the other part this was your second c okay and then you had this is third c and then you had this thing now this is what i want to tell you that in some books you will find that this erythropoietic protoporphyria will be written as simply hereditary protoporphyria okay so don't worry about that you can remember anything what is important is fero chilates now this enzyme defect i have already told you so now whenever you have to write or learn in mcqs anything you will start you know writing the type remembering the enzyme in that particular cycle i have already told you all are autosomal dominant except this one remember this exception is autosomal recessive now you have to remember aip that you can obviously see that particular reaction whatever precursor that will increase because enzyme is not working okay now there will be no coloration on voiding in aip okay this is basically an acute thing hai na and we will although the scientific reason is that that porphyria is not secreted in urine but what i want to tell you is that porphyria is all about this thing you say porphyria because it means purple hai na so there is discoloration of urine to purple color so in aip you have to remember there is no color but in the next subsequent subsequent you know porphyrias there will be change in urine you can see port wine then urine is colored urine is colored etc okay so although you can uh, leave this thing right now just remember first and then urine colored okay now this is the first most common porphyria acute intermittent hai na and it will be hepatic as i have already told you early manifestation there can also be abdominal and neurological this is basically neuro visceral okay guys so this is nothing to learn and i have already told you that cutaneous is mostly a part of late ones so iske baad jo bhi sare hain unme you can write marked photosensitivity marked photosensitivity marked photosensitivity okay and in the last you have to just remember ferrochilitase and it was something related to your rbc because it is the last step where you synthesized you know heme okay so you have to just write those as protoporphyrin increased in plasma rbc and feces and rbc will show fluorescence so this is all about porphyria anywhere you need to write in exams or you need to do for mcqs this will be more than sufficient what you need to remember is just remember this pathway very well all the enzyme which are deficient then general symptoms and then this particular table which will be sufficient at any level okay also if you want to you know uh, have a very good grasp then this is the thing it is nothing but you have to just you know revisit that particular enzyme step and then see what are the precursors what are the products and increase them in that particular laboratory finding so i have divided them these are basically you know uh, according to your early and late porphyrias okay you can say hepatic and cutaneous so this is all you need to know right now regarding porphyrias don't worry in these two tables but kindly learn these things and then 
your this particular things which we have already discussed okay guys so thank you i hope you are learning well and now this is the question which you need to answer in the comment below and it is the i, I suppose the easiest question on porphyria so go for it and thank you stay safe stay healthy keep watching all of my videos and something great is coming soon